Harness the power of the brain to improve your client's performance. To cause change in movement, you first have to get the attention of the individual. Getting the attention of your client starts best by enriching the sensory system. This can be done through improving local joint and tissue mobility. This can also be done by including social interaction and involving auditory processes in combination with movement. With enhanced richness in the sensory system, the information going into the central nervous system is optimized. After optimizing the sensory rich environment, to get the attention of your central nervous system, break their pre-existing patterns. If you want to break pre-existing patterns, you need to create motor control challenges that stimulate the CNS to respond. These challenges should involve multiple joints within a limb, involve multiple limbs, involve multiple limbs between upper and lower body, involve multiple limbs on opposite sides of the body, and then involve active movement across the midline. These strategies create challenges to control movement. They create opportunities to manage mistakes. They promote self-awareness via the language of feeling. They demand improved coordination of the peripheral nervous system, central nervous system, and musculoskeletal system via reflexes. There are areas of the brain highly involved in such movement strategies. One of those is the frontal cortex. Species endowed with a larger frontal cortex seem to play more when they're young. This play is not just the random result of a big new brain with nothing to do. More likely, play has an important developmental role. All this fooling around that looks so useless, random and unstructured serves to fire circuits across our vast cortical map. We have a very large and complex frontal cortex by biological standards, and we play a lot, for a long time. Our brains are 2% of our weight and use 20% of our energy. Sounds like a pretty big muscle. There are several emerging areas of study that indicate targeted acoustic resonances increase activity in the prefrontal cortex. Two of those indicate sounds between frequencies of 90 to 120 hertz, and particularly at 110 hertz, stimulate the frontal cortex or occipital cortex, activating the ideas, thoughts, and visualizations areas of the brain. Contemporary music has since been produced to harness this acoustic resonance. Early studies show anecdotal success in enhancing creative outputs in youth in England with known antisocial behavior problems. A summary of thoughts on the prefrontal cortex. Stimulation of the PFC can reduce pain symptoms in people with neuropathic pain. The PFC plays a role in error-related adjustments in behavior, being closely connected to the subthalamic nucleus, an area of the brain that may be involved in the selection of actions. When stimulated, the PFC can decrease the reaction time and error rate when balancing speed and accuracy of motor skills. Activation of the infralimbic area of the PFC may provoke behavioral strategies that involve mobilizing the body and suppress strategies that involve immobilizing the body. It has been implicated in a variety of behaviors including working memory, decision making, goal directed behaviors, and social behavior. The PFC relates to regions of the cortex involved in processing sensory and motor inputs and responses. To reiterate, if you want to create change in behavior, outputs and performance, break pre-existing patterns first. To do that, you need to get the attention of an enriched nervous system. To do that, you need to create motor control challenges that stimulate the CNS to respond. These motor control challenges can be layered from most simple to most stimulating. First, involve multiple joints within the same limb. Then, involve multiple limbs. Follow that by involving multiple limbs between the upper and lower body. Then, involve multiple limbs on opposite sides of the body. And finally, involve movement across the midline.